you must understand as a person who is a believer in God or maybe not even a believer in God you have to know this about God God is light he lives in the light and he only works in the light somebody say God is light, God is light. say he lives in the light he lives in the and he works only in the light God does not work in the dark so when God made light on the first day he was teaching us something how he works that anytime he wants to do something in your life he does not start with doing something in your life he starts with preparing a station a workstation which will allow him to do something in your life what is that workstation light God does not like dark he doesn't like dark so bad that in heaven he does not allow one dark corner one shadow and he did not even allow a night in heaven God is so full of light and likes light so bad that he put all of the dark in hell and said me and darkness have nothing in common I am full of light and so anytime you want God to get involved in your life in your relationships in your health in your finances in your school and in your future with your friends and family you must understand this God you want whose help he is light he lives in the light and only works in the light uh, I'm currently building a house and the guys who were putting sheetrock in my house they came in and they said from the beginning after they put the sheetrock and they were supposed to tape it and I remember they came in and they said we can't tape anything in this house for one simple reason it's not hot enough you have to create a warm house for us to do taping you know and I could have said to them well guys I can bring you some McDonald's I can bring you some Starbucks I come on guys I can bring you I can bring you so many things but these guys could not operate in the house without one condition it had to have a certain atmosphere and so is with God when God made light on the first day what he was telling us is this is that for me to begin to do something on this earth I have to bring my workstation on this earth and set it here which was light the same way Jesus worked every miracle he would come to one house and there was a girl who was dead and they asked him could you heal this resurrect this girl from the dead and Jesus would come in and the Bible says the whole house was crying and weeping and whining and and just mourning and just negative it was dark it was depression sadness crying not tears of joy but tears of unbelief and the Bible says Jesus couldn't do any miracle there until first he took everybody out of the house turned on the light an atmosphere of faith an atmosphere of positivity an atmosphere of victory and then the Bible says he spoke to the girl and the girl came back to life and he did a miracle in one place he came where people were educated and religious it was his own hometown and the Bible says he stood up to do miracles but did not do many miracles for one reason it's because the light the atmosphere of faith and positivity the atmosphere that God is able Jesus is God Jesus is for us he's not against us. that atmosphere was gone it was pitch dark and Jesus God who can do anything couldn't do anything if you think that God Almighty is going to do a miracle in your life because he is Almighty you are wrong God is going to do a miracle in your life not because he is almighty but because you make room for his station in your life if there is no room for the day one there will be no day two no day three no day four no day five no day six and there sure be no day seven we all want to see God create a sun and a moon but God starts first bringing the light see for us there could be no light without the sun for God there could be no sun without the light God works completely opposite we say if you don't find a boyfriend you can be happy God says if I can make you happy you won't find a boyfriend see you say if I get that nice car only then I will be truly at peace and God says if you find that peace then I'll give you a nice car God works completely opposite you say that if God if you give me a moon and the sun only then I will have light and God says I will give you light and then I will give you the moon the sun and the stars 
God wants light not to come from the sun he wants light come from him he wants your joy your peace and your contentment not to come from things and not to come from people and not to come from a job but to come from himself for you to have light because you have God and you have his word and you have his Holy Spirit can somebody say amen light comes from the word not from the sun God works completely opposite and for us to see his work in our life on a personal level we must embrace his way of working God works just like this he brings light and then he brings the sun we want God to work the opposite we pray for the sun we hope for the sun we ask for the sun we make plans for the sun so that we can have light and God says I will give you light first and then I will give you the sun for example maybe you're single today and you are in that stage where you're single ready to mingle there's nobody to mingle with and maybe you're discouraged a bit maybe you're coming even to church and you're saying man I'm, I'm in that state right now where I would really love somebody to love me for who I am and you're walking around maybe there's darkness in your soul you're crying you're upset you're not happy with yourself you're looking at yourself and you say man poor little me I'm so ugly I wish somebody could love me what you're asking God is to give you a sun to give you a moon and the stars let me tell you how the Lord wants to bring that star and the moon and the sun in your life he wants to make you feel so loved and accepted on day one and bring that which you desire on day four you want God to bring that on day one so that you will have the light on day four God works the opposite that's how Holy Spirit works he first brings you peace inside peace you can't explain you walk into your apartment you walk into your house everything is the same your paycheck is the same the bills are the same everything in the family is the same they're still fighting there's still this this disarray and disagreements but an inside of you something is there that was not there before you shouldn't feel so peaceful when nothing is peaceful around you but you do that is a day one that means day two is coming day three is coming day four is coming day five is coming day six and day seven is when you're gonna be at rest don't think day one starts with God doing something around you day one starts with God doing something within you and if you have the light it's a guarantee the sun is coming if you have the peace it's a guarantee the change is coming if you have the contentment and satisfaction it's a guarantee God's blessing God's success God's promotion is coming but if you on inside are empty if you are on inside are still insecure if you are on inside is still shattered and broken day one is today your day the day where God will bring his light his love his peace so that when the sun comes you will look at the sun and say thank you for the sunshine 